So you want to install the Furion backup camera on your RV. And you're also pre-wired for it. I'm going to show you just how easy it is, even if you're not pre-wired for it. They do sell a model that replaces a marker light that has a marker light on it and then has the bracket for the camera as well. So let's get into just how easy it is. First things first, let's get the box open. So in the package, you're gonna get a few different things. One mainly in the screen. You're gonna get a couple different types of brackets. Um, you're gonna have a windshield mount and then a dash mount as well. And of course you have the most important part, which is the camera. Now, if you have a bracket like I showed earlier, where you actually have what I call the bat wing on the back of the coach already, you'll need to remove the camera out of there. And if you don't have it, you'll be mounting this entire bracket on the back of the coach. So since we already have a bracket real quick, let's pull this off. Now I'm not saving these screws because I have these same screws up there on my dummy plate on the bracket, which you'll see when I take those off. The only other thing I have to do here is going to be attaching the antenna, which will be located inside of that piece of cardboard. Along with, you have a cord that will power not only the camera, but the screen for testing purposes, which we're gonna do before we even think about installing this. And then you have a hardwired connector where if you're not pre-wired and you're trying to run off of a marker light, you can use this harness to connect to the camera. So let's get the antenna on here and then we will test everything real quick before we install it on the coach. So remember how I showed you the power adapter for the screen also has this coming out of it and that is so you can test the camera as well. So get that plugged in and we're gonna throw power at this plug. Now if you have a 12 volt test plug or a vehicle to hook it to, that's great. I do not, so I will be using my fun little device I have here that runs off of a drill battery and I have momentary power or constant power. Don't ask where I bought it, you can't buy it. My buddy Chris Bean made it for me. So I'll throw power at it, camera's got power, screen has power. They should already be paired, but the pairing process is very easy if not. And as you can see here, camera's working, so we're good to install. Now for the fun part, we're gonna find out if they just put wires up there for me or if there's already a plug installed. It's kind of a hit or miss uh, with Grand Design most of the time the plug's there. And this being a grand design, imagine, I'm gonna hope that the plug's there, right? So take those four little screws out in the corners here, and this dummy plate will come off. And sure enough, what do we have? We are pre-wired for a camera. Toss that dummy plate to the side. You don't have to be quite as reckless as I am. Plug the camera in, and let's get you guys a little closer up here. So you can see what's going on. As you can see, we are pre-wired with a plug. So we are just going to simply plug this in here. There we go. Sorry, couldn't do that with one hand. So we're plugged in and now we're just going to re-screw the camera to the bracket and that's it, we're done. So we'll tuck the wires back as good as we can. They do give you an ample amount of space to hide your connector and everything back there. Sometimes you just gotta fidangle with it a little bit. All right, so we dropped our first screw. It's great. Once we get one screw set in there, things get a little easier. And now we put the other two, get down off the ladder, go get the one we dropped, and then we're all done. Now, with the way most of these are pre-wired, they get their power from the marker lights. So your marker lights will need to be on for most of these pre-wired setups to work. Occasionally in coaches like that Valor over there, there'll be a switch on the control panel to give power directly to the camera. But yeah, you'll need to have your marker lights on in order for the camera to work. That's just how a lot of them are pre-wired, unfortunately. It is kind of annoying when you're trying to use your camera as a security system at nighttime. I know a lot of people like that, so we end up having to wire them differently for them. But Look at the other two screws in, not worried about getting that on camera. <clears throat> Main thing is just kind of showing you guys how easy it is to install. In the case that you open a box and it's not paired, which I find to be very rare, you simply go to the options and go to pair rear camera 
and there's a pairing button on the bottom here you would press to pair the camera with the screen, which is the same thing you need to do for the side cameras. Since this coach is getting side cameras too, I figure I can show you how, quite how easy that is. You're really just gonna pull the marker light off, reattach the power. You can determine if you want the turn signal trigger to activate it. Uh, most of the time we install them where the camera is always active, so you can leave all three on the screen at the same time. You can wire them how you please, and the instruction manual will give you both of those options. Dean, on average, how long would you think it takes you to install side cameras? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Including, so, including testing? Yeah, so 30 minutes including testing. These will need to be paired to the screen using the same process I talked about before, where you're going to go into the pairing menu on the camera, and then there's going to be a small button on the bottom side here to pair each the left and the right camera. But it's as simple as that. So that's how easy it is to install a backup camera. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, and tours in RVs with a technician, make sure you press that subscribe button.